All right, your Puma Park model, you have two 20 pound tanks, they're both full, your regulator's right here. And this little arrow pointing at which trailer, I mean, which tank you're at. So turn it on, that'll turn green, that'll slowly turn red. Flip it over to this tank, you just flip it over like that and then the arrow point that. And then you can go get that one filled and then turn this one on. All right, your battery's stored back here in that box. Uh, right back here in the bottom, you have your battery disconnect. So to totally kill the battery, you turn it to the left like that, and then to turn it on, you turn it all the way to the right. This here is for solar panels. If you ever wanted to get solar panels, charge your battery, you could do that and use the portable solar panels. You have stabilizer jacks on each corner of the unit. You'll just crank them down, get them snug against the ground. Once you have the trailer level, don't try to jack the trailer up. You'll bend the jacks. This here hole is for your slide out to manually bring it in and out. There's a crank in there, which I'll show you in a little while. Uh, you have your quick connect for your propane. So you just connect your gas line to there and then turn it on. And that'll be for your outside grill or whatever. Fill your fresh tank right here. We'll go it this way. All right. This exhaust to your furnace. You have an outlet out here. This is a vent for over your stove. You want to close when you're traveling or not there, but you just lift up on the taps and you open it up when you're camping so you can turn on the exhaust fan over your stove. This hole here is for the bedroom slide. And then the other one is underneath the steps for the uh, living room slide. You have an area for a backup camera if you ever choose to get one. There will be a temporary plate on there for you. You have cable hookup and satellite hookup. So if you have cable or satellite, that's where it goes into the unit. You have a 50 amp power here, so you just plug in your cord here and I'll show you where that your cord is. This is your black tank flush. So when you're draining your tanks underneath here, you have your black and your gray and they're color coordinated. So you pull your black first, then take a hose, hook it up here, let it sit on there for about five minutes and then it'll flush and clean out that black tank. And then you're gonna have another one for the front of the trailer for your other bathroom. And then your main city water connection goes right into there. All right, here's your cranks. That's a crank for your stabilizer jack and for your slide out. And there's your power cord. Okay, you have your galley, which is gonna be your kitchen sink. That's gonna be the tank, so that's where you'll drain your kitchen sink. And then up here, you have your black gate valve, which is right next to that. And then your gray is up here. And then here's your black tank flush for the front bathroom. And more storage area here on the front slide. And then your hot water heater. Runs on electric and gas, so make sure there's water in there, which there is, and then you can turn it on electric right down here. Okay. And then gas is run from the inside. And then we got the... You have your vent over here, and this is the vent for your dryer. And that's everything on the outside.